Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm very happy to present you the latest feature in uh, in assembly, and this feature is uh, isolate. Like uh, it lets you isolate like the some parts, and more specifically, like the reference of a joint. So one problem that was um, reported for assembly is that when you have like an, a big assembly like this and you have a lot of joints then it is very difficult to find which joint is where and and con is on which part and so to solve this problem uh, what we have done is to add uh, this isolation mode which basically hides uh, not hide uh, make transparent all the shapes uh, that are not related to this um, to this joint and so if you select one joint you get yeah just the reference part and you can obviously change you see every time I change the joints the selection uh, then I get the parts that are concerned by the joint uh, only and the rest is transparent and so this feature is also nice because when you edit a joint so you double click to edit a joint uh, you also have this uh, isolation mode and you can ch uh, choose between different possibilities right you have wireframe you have hidden which hides completely the other part and disable just disable the, the this feature so yeah, so that's uh, that's about it. You have transparent. Oh yeah, one thing that is really nice with transparent is that now the we have a way to make a, a part um, pass through uh, to the mouse events. So basically, you can select through the transparent shapes, right? So here I have this joint between those two parts, and if you wanted to modify it without the isolation mode so disabled you see you have the part that is in the way and sometimes uh, often it's making the deselection difficult right so now with this you can unselect easily the the reference that you want to edit so let's say you don't want this uh, reference anymore uh, you can unselect it and then you see because the joint is not complete anymore we have only one reference um, because I just unselected one then the the whole shape comes back into um, normal rendering and you can select right because you want to be able to select your references and so you can select the references that you want so here I will just select the same one again and, and you're back into the isolate mode um, so that's about it for this feature um, yeah so it's uh, going to be available into the next build of uh, astocad which uh, should be already available at the time where i publish this video and uh, unfortunately i was planning to merge this into main freecad um, but we are currently into in feature freeze so it's not going to make it into 1.1 1 .1. uh, so it will have to be for the next uh, version right so if you want to try that out you can uh, already try it out in astocad or wait some time until it merges into next version that's about it for today well uh, thanks for watching and i will see you into the next one bye bye